briefly share this word. It's not much, but, but you know, the word is always good. I always love the word and the word is always rich. Amen. And it word edifies, it blesses us, it instructs us. Amen. God, God wants us to know, you know, how we need to handle ourselves and what we need to do and the provisions that he has provided for you and I. He wants us to be assured of that. Amen. So that way we can move. Amen. In the authority of Jesus Christ. Amen. Man, praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, he does. He wants us to move in the authority of the Christ. Amen. But as I said, I'm going to be coming from the book of First Peter, the first chapter and verse 13. And this is what it says. It says, wherefore, girdle up your loins of your mind. All right. This is Peter here that's teaching. And he's saying, he's saying, girdle up the loins of your mind. And that's what I want to look at just real quick here about girding up the loins of our minds. Amen. Hallelujah. So when he's saying to girdle up, amen, to girdle, it means to encircle yourself or fasting with a with a belt or even a sword, amen? So what he said is girdle, amen? He said, girdle up the loins, amen? But we're going to keep looking at this word girdle, amen? And also the word girdle means to invest, especially with power of authority. So what he's letting us know here, literally, is that, that we need to make sure that we're girdling up our minds because the loins has to do with a certain particular part of the body. When I looked that up, it dealt with a certain particular of the body. Here, it's talking and it's letting us know that it is our mind. But what Peter is letting us know, he's letting us know is that we need to literally girdle up with the power or the authority, the power and the authority of Christ, amen, because that power will subdue, that power will bring deliverance, that power will bring healing, hallelujah, that power will set us free, hallelujah, and it'll keep us free, hallelujah, that power is saving power, and it will cover all areas of of you and our lives. Amen. So we can be blessed when we girdle up the loins of our minds. And